Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Day we hustle, but the night we. Know that the ride or die. Hey, you guys, I'm back with another story. That jingling you heard was my pooch. I don't know if you guys are aware, but I found this story and it was written in November of 2021. And um, it says it's a two minute read. I don't know, you know, my big mouth, I'll probably take it longer. But Summer Wells, missing girls aren't now revealed have vanished. So not only has Summer Wells vanished, but her aunt also vanished as well so this sounds really crazy and really spooky you guys i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure how many people knew but she's been gone since uh 2009 okay let me read this the aunt of missing five-year-old summer wells have has uh now also disappeared it has emerged and has not been seen yeah they said it has it has uh, emerged, and it should have said she has not been seen since 2009. So that's what kind of threw me off the way it was worded. And her name is Rose Mary Bly. Vanished from Wisconsin, and her car was found in a parking lot 30 miles away from her actual residence, you guys. So this is getting creepy to me. Summer Wells is missing. Her aunt's been missing since 2009. Nobody said anything. It's probably been a little teeny bit reporting, but nothing significant. I don't understand what's going on with this Wells stuff that's happening since 2009, and nobody is saying anything. Wow, this is really, really getting to be something else. Okay, let me see. Um, and it says, an unsolved mystery that may or may not be related to, uh, to her niece, Summer's disappearance early this year. Well, if Summer's missing, now Auntie's missing. Nobody has any information on where Auntie is. And this baby is gone. We don't know what's going on in Wisconsin. Something is really taking place down there where people are coming up missing and nobody has found this lady since 2009 okay so something is wrong here okay uh summer went missing from her family's tennessee home on the 15th of june an amber alert was issued for summers the following day and while investigators have not publicly shared theories about what may have happened to her her family say they believe she was abducted my only thing is I really didn't follow this story 100%, but the thing that's bothering me the most is this. How is it that this little girl is missing? If you say she went downstairs into the basement and there are many other pictures that show and videos that show that this little girl went down into her basement and the brothers said, oh, she went downstairs. Now, if the brothers are being truthful, what happened down in that basement who was down in that basement or did she truly go downstairs in that basement or did the little girl decide to go outdoors you know normally a kid gets to wandering and say oh they're gonna go downstairs but they end up going outdoors you know what i'm saying so you gotta know children you know and i'm not giving an excuse to the mom i'm not giving an excuse to the dad i'm not giving an excuse to anybody but what i'm saying is this is the second person in this household that have gone missing that vanished into thin air with no traces of anything you know i'm not and i'm praying that this little girl is not deceased i pray that they will find her i pray that someone didn't pick her up and took her somewhere and did something to her this is what i'm praying because i have a heart for children i love children i love kids kids are the cutest they do the cutest things the things that will make you laugh so i don't understand why a person would turn their anger and turn their wrath on a child and cause any type of harm any type of harm even assault and you know what i mean s assault you know, I don't know why people would want to do something and steal their joy. These are innocent little little beings that is happy. You know, when you do stuff to them, you rob them of an opportunity to have a um a life. And this really I don't know, you guys. It's crazy to me. According to her father, Donald Will, Summer had 
been outside planting flowers with her mother and grandmother but went back inside the family house unaccompanied to play with her with her toys the basement door was left open okay so i saw a picture of the basement did the little girl fall down the stairs and and severely harm herself and you guys are covering it up because that's something that if that was an accident that was something that you could have reported that could have been like i don't know but it showed and one of the pictures that the mother had rails and things built around it. So I don't see where she would have fallen through without, you know, having something to grip on. Something definitely happened in that house. We can only speculate and come up with our own guesses and say this mother did it or the father did it or this person did it. We really don't know. You know, we are a society that we see things and the first thing we want to do is blame somebody. We need more facts. And I'm not in any way trying to take away anybody else's thoughts and what they may have said in their videos or however they formulated their videos. I'm not trying to take away anything, but I'm just saying, let's say, for instance, the little girl said that she was going to go in the house. And let's say she didn't go in the house. Let's say she went somewhere else. Let's say somebody was on the property that wasn't supposed to be there and got her attention and possibly have snatched her up. We don't know. We weren't there. You know, we got to put ourselves in the parents' shoes if they, if they are innocent. We have to put ourselves in the parents' shoes. You know what I'm saying? And like I say in all my videos, when it comes to cases like this, crimes against other people, I still say I think that they should use the uh, truth serum that they used to use when people came from different um, countries into our um, our country and we didn't know if they were for good or for bad. So I think that this case also right along with the um, boys that are missing out of California, I think that those parents should be hit with that truth serum and no matter what they try to do, you cannot lie and tell a lie and it needs to be questions, bam, bam, bam. I don't want to know all this extra stuff that's going on in your life. I don't want to know about your past history i want to know one did you do it two who did it three where was she four what time of day five where is she now six everything else that goes with it i don't want to hear all this extra stuff that you guys want to play around and be nosy and ask about other stuff if you want to know about their mental illness then that's something you should pull up and find out if they've had any treatment in the past before you take them into this setting we don't need all the extras you know because a lot of times you get people that do interrogations they want to get nosy they want to get too personal and when you start getting nosy and too personal you tick that person off and then then they shut down and you won't get the answers that you need that you want so i think that they should start using truth serums in these cases when it comes to violent crimes especially when a man assaults a woman if you know what i mean or any type of crime whether it be a shooting stabbing anything i think that they should just be injected with this serum and get the truth so that we can stop wasting taxpayers dollars we can stop with the shenanigans all this hearsay she said he say everybody's guess because everybody's going to always have something to say they're going to think that they're so smart that they know the answer they're going to be so intellectually smart that they think they got it down packed not no we don't know what happened at that house guessing and speculating that's all we can do if we were not there and we didn't see it happen we shouldn't say for a fact that this is what happened we need to start using words like allegedly if it were me in my case i would we need to be careful with our wording because if we say something and put a stamp on it it could come back later and bite us square off and our behind so this is why I feel the way that I feel. I'm not coming after no YouTuber. So if anybody think that I said something about them or saw their um, their broadcast on it, I didn't. I don't want to be in the midst of no YouTube battle. Don't come for me because I'm not about the one. I'm not going to be the one to answer you back. You can say whatever you want, but all I'm saying is we need to be careful, you know. And I still say I believe in my heart of hearts that there's something definitely going on here. This is the second person, okay? Uh, let me see. And it said. Uh, I don't know who said this, but it says, I went down in the basement and she was gone. So she went out. So she went out the basement door, which was unlocked. And we haven't seen her since, Mr. Wells said, reports. 
um, reports to the sun. Okay, so here we go with another door situation. Like Trezell, I left the gate open. Them, uh, the door was unlocked. What's going on with these gates and doors that we don't know about that these kids are just coming through these doors and gates and coming up missing and they vanished and somebody must have took them? I don't get this. This is absolutely bonkers. This is why I say they need to have truth serum. They need to bring it back and they start. They need to start injecting folks because a lot of people will give false testimony. Even in court cases, you have a lot of people that will give false testimony on people and people will go to jail for stuff that they did not do. That's why we have to be careful because sometimes... Um, a lot of the people from the media will look on social media and see who has the highest following and they will grab some of the stories from these people and throw it up there. But even with the ones that have the highest viewers and followers, uh, we still need to be careful because these people can't think for themselves and they'll take what you said allegedly and throw it out there and not give you credit for the things that you're saying. But this does seem very, very suspect to me. It seems very crazy and I don't understand what the heck is going on. I will never get it. What's up with these gates and doors? That's all I want to know. What's up with these gates and doors that these kids are vanishing out of? Okay, Summer's mother, Candace Bly, told Fox 8 she felt in her heart that somebody has come up here and took her, has lured her away from here. But don't, I don't know, you know what, kids are easily lured depending, it could be somebody that the family members knew. Because most of the time when you have a kid, a kid is not just going to go up to a stranger and their parents are not around. That's just not going to happen. You guys, there are paramedics going by. I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. It either has to be somebody that they know that can lure them away from their property that can cause them to come out their door. It has to be a familiar face. You get what I'm saying? And that child have, have, have to have been around whoever that person was in order to leave so, so willingly. So I don't know what's going on here it just sounds really weird really strange to me that this child just walked up out the door and was able to just get lured away but some people are speculating that the mom might have done it we don't know that's why i say we need that truth serum you know dad is being arrested for dui maybe it's guilt maybe it's him feeling bad maybe it's him not being able to handle the fact that his daughter is gone it could be a number of things that he's um drinking and driving about it could be so many reasons you know what i'm saying and um it, it's just a whole this whole situation is sad that her aunt is missing since 2009 now this baby is missing so let me see uh whoever has my daughter the dad says i pray they haven't harmed her they are bringing her back to a safe and sound she said okay now it's the mother so whoever has their daughter she said i pray that they haven't harmed her and that they are going to bring their baby back safe. I hope so too. I hope that this brings enough pressure on if this child is still alive. And whoever has this child, I pray that they bring her back. But let's think about it like this. Let's say, okay, we're just going to go here, you guys. And I'm not saying that I have all the facts. I'm just saying let's go here. Let's say somebody was looking for a child because you know that trafficking is a big business. Let's say that somebody have seen this little girl time and time again, okay? And they followed the parents home. I mean, the, they followed them home and they knew their dad was going to be gone. They lured the little girl. And let's say they do have this little girl. I don't know if they're going to release this little girl. I just pray that this little girl is not, you know, deceased. I really do. I pray that she's not hurt. I pray that nobody has done anything to her in a bad way. So, um... Last Thursday, the FBI issued a statement via Twitter, which said they are doing everything within their power to find her. And I believe that because they want to crack this case. Because this little girl, excuse me, you guys, I forgot to push that button. This little girl has no reason to be missing. And anybody that has gone up on their property should be persecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And I think that this is absolutely horrible. It's horrible. All these attacks against children, you know, whether it be, um, you know, murder or whatever it is. 
or CPS dropping the ball. It doesn't matter. It's still a horrible situation. The post reads, no one is more frustrated than us by the lack of answers at this stage. However, we haven't given up and we won't. While we do while we do not discuss specifics about evidence gathered in an ongoing investigation, we can tell you that numerous search warrants have been executed. Wow. And any uh, potential digital evidence has been collected. So if the parents did something and they did it through any type of... Boy, I'm doing the story. You ain't that tired. If they did anything or if they were corresponding back and forth electronically... It will definitely be found out, you guys. And I pray that this situation ends with a happy note. You know what? I think I went up too far. Let me go back. There you go. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Mr. Wells was arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence in October and has a criminal record which includes other alcohol-related charges and domestic violence in the past. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Ms. Bly filed an um, order of protection against him, writing, I am afraid for my children and myself, but later asked for the order to be dismissed. So, does this mean... So, you guys, this is kind of making me think otherwise now. So, does this mean that he gets drunk and he blacks out and he causes harm? Because for her to put that statement out, it had to have been something. Was he drinking that day? Uh, did he get angry? Was he there when he was drunk and did something to the daughter and took the daughter and put her in his vehicle and disposed of her and kept going about his day? And mom thinks that, you know, somebody literally snatched her child. Could this be the case that dad actually did something to this little girl and mom is totally oblivious to what happened? Because look at the statement that she made. She made a statement that he was uh, drunk, you know, and he had uh, domestic violence against him in the past. So could it be that situation where Mr. Wells actually did something to his daughter being intoxicated where he got angry? Are the boys scared of him? Is everybody in the house afraid of him and afraid to speak up? They need to get those kids alone and talk to those children as well so that they can find out some answers as to what happened to this little girl and what's been going on in this household so that we can get some information cracking you guys because all this extra stuff that we're going through speculating and trying to figure it out it's not going to work it's not going to work mm -mm -mm -mm. okay let me finish wow huh, Summer's three brothers were removed from the Wells family home six weeks after her daughter dis disappearance and a judge issued a gag order on the child protective services case officials have uh commented you know officials have not commented commented on why it was issued summer's family will appear on dr phil on thursday and friday in their first national tv interview the family has also asked for anyone with information to contact them via their website findsummerwells.com okay this article is an older article i found it and it kind of sparked my interest because it was stating that the aunt went missing um you know in 2009 so i'm kind of thinking is this something else going on that we don't know about you know just leave your comments below and let me know what you think about this because this is a kind of a shocker to me and if this man is the type because they do have men and women that will get drunk and they don't know how to hold their liquor and they become combative so if this is that case then he needs to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law so you guys don't forget about the giveaway i've already mentioned that i have two going on don't forget to hit that like button that post notification bell don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to comment below and um you want to say something say what's up Okay, he said his what's up. So, you guys, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you for joining. Thank you, uh, Team Angel, for being a new subscriber. I appreciate you so very much. And I will talk to you guys. And you see, he wants to do a story now. You want to do a story? What's your story? That's yours? Okay. All right. He